Hello and welcome to uh, my presentation on business process testing from a manual perspective. We're going to uh, be in the business components module, which those of you who are familiar with Quality Center requires extra licensing. Um, that's available from HP. I have uh, a, a folder tree here on the left-hand navigation side, and you'll notice that I have uh, these different components. These are different components of my application, and we're going to be working with the Flight app today. In the Business Components module, we have different tabs. Each tab has holds information uh, relative to each component. For example, the Create Order component, uh, the summary of this component is that it creates a new order. The precondition is important and is something that should always be filled out along with the post condition. So that's the necessary conditions um, before we can execute this business process. And then the post condition is the expected result uh, after that component has run. Another uh, interesting tab here is the snapshot. So we can actually take a snapshot of our application and uh, hold it in, in Quality Center and that allows us to know exactly what we're talking about. That's extremely convenient when you are onboarding new individuals, uh, so they actually have a visual cue knowing that they're in the right place. The component steps is exactly what it sounds like. It is a series of steps that uh, you execute in a certain fashion to get through the component or get to walk through your application. I author my, uh, my manual steps very carefully in that each, uh, ver each verification or requirement that I'm testing is its own single step. And then you'll, you can see on step number two, I have my actions that are actually going through the application. So I'm clicking the new button and then I'm entering information. And you can see that I have parameters. So on the, the date, this is a, a parameter that um, I'll explain a little bit more here in a second. And then any time that the uh, server or the business process actually sends a response to me, that itself ends that particular step. Or again, if you have the, a verification or some sort of uh, requirement that you're checking. So in our parameters tab, we have a couple input parameters. This is the, the date, the departure city, the departing uh, or the arriving destination, the name of the passenger in our application. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create new parameters. I'm going to create an output parameter. So an output parameter is something that can be used uh, by another component um, at a later time within your test. So I'm going to call this order number out. Okay, and we can also see the dependencies. So this particular component is being used by all these different tests, and then um, it's using an application area also. So you can, t if you need to update this component, you can see what other entities are going to be affected. And then we have a history tab, which for those of you that are familiar with Quality Center, we can set um, any of the fields in this component, and if it changes, we can maintain and keep tracking and history on that particular field. Also, any fields that we might need to add, this portion of the component is highly customizable, and we can create uh, strings, we can create drop-down lists, um, or even uh, memo, memo fields if necessary. So now that we have our component created, I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, create a business process scenario. We click the new, new test button, make sure that the test type is of a business process, and we're going to call this a demo um, scenario. Okay. This is a demo. Notice the large amount of collaboration that we can have on this. We can have uh, timestamps. Um, this is all uh, HTML based. And we're just going to hit OK on that. And now this is just like the manual manual test cases, except we, instead of putting in test steps, we put in our components. And the components themselves, like I said, they're extremely important on how you name them, so you can find them easily. Imagine if you had 100, 200, 300 different components, and having a, a logical file structure is um, imperative if you want to be successful. So we need to start with our login component. Let me just drop it in there. And then the next one we're going to do is create order. Okay. 
and let's do a log out here, for example. Okay, so that is our, our business process scenario. Now we can, just by clicking that link, we can set our parameters. Now our parameters are going to stay the same um, in, until we update them again. So you can uh, create a test and create parameters, and then um, in your regression suite, you just refresh your database, and all your parameters are going to stay within your tests. And let's fly from Denver. And I know the application really well, so I can just fill in these parameters from uh, from my memory here. And two. Okay. And then the logout component has no parameters, so we have nothing to set. We also have a various uh, other tabs up here, but we won't get into that for the sake of time. Notice that this this scenario has a yellow color to the icon. That's because one of our business components is in a maintenance status. So the create order is in a maintenance. If I flip this to a ready status, then it gives me a green flag. And then also when I refresh over here, it gives me a, a green indicator, allowing me to, to uh, have a visual cue that that particular business process was uh, being worked on. All right, so now we're in the test lab. This is where we execute our test cases. And so we can uh, select, and then we have um, another test tree. And this is a test plan. So we have our demo scenario. And we can just drop that in. And we have a couple options here. We can execute this using the old manual runner, which I highly um, recommend not to do, um, because I absolutely love Sprinter. But we could, we could kick off Sprinter from here, except I'm actually on my local server. So I'm going to switch over to my other machine here. And let me just go ahead and uh, find our test here. So we're going into the test set itself. And you can see now we have um, that test that we just dropped into the execution grid. So give it a second. And now we're able to execute our test case. There are a lot of other functionality uh, pieces to Sprinter, but I'm just going to go through the basics. Right here, we can see our, our scenario and then our individual components that we have. Over here in this pane, we can um, see our test steps. So let's go ahead and start executing this test case. So the test step says that we should open up this file. And I have a shortcut here. So the expected result is that the flight app opens. So we can pass this. And then we the next line item is to verify the login appears for requirement 15, which I've done so because it is open. So let's pass that. And then now you can see where the parameters are starting to come into play. These are the parameters that we set previously. So let me go ahead and uh, enter those. Okay, and click the OK button. You can see how I worded my, my how I authored my test case and how easy it is to actually execute. So I don't know if you just noticed that, but we are actually on the create order component now. The login component, it seamlessly transferred us to the next component. And um, let's go ahead and continue with our test case. Verify that the flights button, which is this button right here, is not enabled. And you can tell that it is not enabled. Pass that step. And now we are going to create a new order. And the step is to click the new button. Or we could have clicked this button right here. And enter the 615. So we're going to fly from Denver and Paris. OK, now the next verification is to verify that the flights button is enabled. OK, very good. And it says click the flights button. And then we're going to select a flight. I apologize, it's overlapping there a little bit. All right, and now we have some more parameters. Select economy, and then two. Perfect. And then it says click the insert order button. Perfect. And we have a verify that insert done is at the bottom of the window, which you can tell that it is. Perfect. And now keep, uh, keep an eye on the component, because we're going to switch. This is the last step in the create order component. 
we pass it and it gives us an indicator here that shows that this particular component passed. And then the next steps are to uh, file and then exit. And it says the app will close, which it did. Except we're going to uh, fail this step just so I can show you that it failed. Just so I can show you what it does when it fails. Okay, perfect. And now this test case is done. And over here we have the run summary. We show that the test has failed. Uh, we show uh, the steps that have failed. We can click on Run Summary. And this is our summary of what actually happened. Perfect. I thank you for joining me in this uh, brief demo on business process testing.